obviously it's a 3-3 game. You finish off a penalty kill. You're, you're all right where you are, and then bang, bang. What, what did you see from, from there? Really a continuation of what we were doing in particular in the second period where I just thought our attention to detail against this team really was poor. Um, you know, things we hadn't been doing really. And just uh, just really sloppy, you know. Not recognizing situations, turnovers, really playing east-west more so than we have been lately. And, you know, in my mind, one of our poor performances in a while. Early on, your forecheck, we talked about Buchnevich, you know, kind of banging on the door. He gets one, he got a couple points in the game. Strong gets one. I mean, are there things you can take out of this? Um, not right now. You know, it's just frustrating because, uh, you know, you go in the third period and you don't play great for the second. It's 3-3. Three to three. You do a good job killing a penalty off and you give yourself an opportunity. And we've been a good third period team this year and we certainly weren't tonight. So as I stand here in front, it's tough to, tough to like anything about our game tonight. Does the four three goal hang around when it, when it's five? Does it snowball into the five three goal? I know you called the timeout after the. Yeah, I, you know, it just. But again, the you know, the fifth goal is just a reflection of what we, I thought we were doing all night long. We got lucky, and we paid the fiddler you know, when we did it for the twenty to thirtieth time of the night. When you get a puck and just stop inside your blue line, you know, against that team, you're just begging for trouble, and you know that's what happened. Biggest issues you saw, especially in the third period, things you guys need to clean up. You mentioned turnovers. Was that it, or was there more to it? I didn't love our intensity. You know, I thought that we there just wasn't a lot of purpose to what we were doing in all three zones, and our turnovers really hurt us. I mean, you know, the first two goals we score, we get pucks behind them, we establish our forecheck, and we score, and we just didn't do that enough tonight. I mean, if you you're going to beat that team, you better spend way more time in the offensive zone, and unfortunately, we didn't do it tonight. Um, Alex was a little disappointed in himself. Uh, how would you assess what he did tonight? Again, I didn't love any 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 part of our game tonight. You know, and he's been really good for us. So probably a, a game that he'd like to be a little bit better in, but we didn't do him any favors. Um, you talked about it earlier, Buchnevich, but do you feel like? Uh, him breaking the, the seal now. Do you feel like that'll be a positive going forward? Yeah, like I said before, I think you know, once a guy gets one, you know, a couple usually follow. So I'm hoping that's the case for him. It's been a while since you guys have had this three in a row now. I, I don't think that's happened since like the third game of the season when you guys went on that little rut um, in mid October. Do you have any concerns with the young team about? You know, losing this three in a row and, and let that snowball at all? Um, not right. Not, no, I, I don't because I like to. I actually liked most of the game in Anaheim and I like the way we played against Nashville. And you know, I certainly didn't like a lot about our game tonight. So that being said, as we've talked about, this league can be streaky, and you know, we don't get a point in our last two games. All of a sudden, you know, like you said, you're spiraling a little bit. So we, we've we've got to be we've got to be ready to play on Sunday afternoon.